Now's your chance to get out there and be my hero! Okay! Fetch stick! I said stick. Is this a stick? Get it right! Uh. Hey, look at this. A message in a bottle. It's probably my million dollars from the sweepstakes. Get your paws off my bottle. And then, without a moment's hesitation, I jumped into the froggy foam and swam as if my life depended on it. Which, of course, it did. Read the message. I wonder if it's from my great uncle, Colwraith. It's been over 30 years since he set out in that leaky boat, and he did promise faithfully to write. Oh, maybe it's from Stephen, my friend from day camp. <sighs> Just read the message. The towering waves loomed over me like voracious giants. The icy water cut through me like a knife. My hair was an absolute mess. The message! And then, from out of nowhere, comes this really big... Give me that! His royal majesty, sole sovereign of the kingdom, regal ruler of the far-flung colonies, protector of the protectorates, announces his crown and glory world tour to kick off on the last Tuesday of the month. <gasps> Uh, guys? Here on our humble little island. Guys? Let's see. The last Tuesday of the month is uh, four minus five. Uh, the 25th. No, the 23rd. That's tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? But it takes weeks to ferment pea fat. Guys? I can't possibly make 500 yards of bunting by tomorrow. You guys, just look at this bottle. It's really ancient. This is obviously a very old message. And besides, there's no king in England. No, oh, you're that's out of your reason. mind. People, people, please calm down. This is our mic we're talking about. She's a New Yorker. What do they know? Yeah, that's that's so so true. true. I still say we hang her. <laughs> It is with great pleasure, Your Majesty, that I bid you welcome. Well, welcome. I've popped a stitch. Creaks. What? I'm helping. Oh, I do believe I'm ready. Ready. I'm so ready. Ah, I do believe I hear him coming. Og! Seagulls. Isn't he here yet? Uh, og. og? Seagulls. Don't understand 
it. The note did say Tuesday, didn't it? Maybe he's just late. Yeah, by about 400 years. Could it be that it's an old message? Hello? Good thinking, Wendell. He may just have something there. He? Well, you mean he? Well, the bottle did kind of look old. So does this mean he isn't coming? I'm afraid so, old girl. No, oh, dash it all, and I look so nifty. Ship ho! Oh, that's him! No, it's just more seagulls. Hi there. He's a king. He doesn't look like a king. He's wearing a floral print with plaid. Bob Johnson, King of Curtains, at your service. Sire! How do you guys expect anyone to find this place? I've been driving around for days. Sire, this is such an honor. Welcome to our island days. You may love our island ways. I would say it really pays to visit Uh, last bit didn't rhyme. <laughs> is, is this all included? And so it is with great pleasure that we welcome His Royal Majesty King Bob to our humble island paradise. Boy, you guys run some outfit. This is definitely better than the other islands in the atoll. All you get there is a continental breakfast and a shower cap. Listen, I was thinking, sire, after dinner, I might take you on a tour of the island, eh? Helicopter tour? I'm there! <laughs> Excuse me, Wendell, but I was thinking that his royal majesty might want something a tad more interesting. Say, an exciting wild wombat hunt. Well, I am... I'm sorry, my dear, but I've booked His Majesty for the whole rest of the day. I'm painting his portrait for the National Gallery. I've got milk and cookies back at my cave. That's milk. Fit for a king, what what? But he's already committed to me. I don't think so, my dear. I know so, my darling. Sorry, kids, but... But nothing! Guys, what's all the fuss? He's not even a king. He sells curtains. Hey, of course I'm the king. Who else has enough crushed velvet curtains to cover the entire tri-state area? Hmm? I had no idea the kingdom was so vast. Isn't it thrilling? Long live the king! What's crushed velvet? And over here is Marjorie and Alfred's house. And over there is my house. Love the shipwreck theme. How'd you get it to look so real? Wrecked a ship. Say, sire, how would you like a gorgeous daughter of your very own? Lulukens, you already have a father, remember? No offense, Dad, but I'd much rather be the daughter of a king, hence princess, than the daughter of a governor, hence governess. Really? I had no idea. But you must go where opportunity takes you. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Okay. I'll just live out my years alone and forgotten. You go and be a princess. Great. So how about it? Uh, daughter? I don't think so. I already have a German Shepherd. Ah, my turn! No, wait, I'm not done yet! Bye, Dad! There's nothing like the thrill of the hunt to make you feel alive. Your heart pumping, your breath quickened. It's just you and the prey, a battle of wits in a war jungle. He's close now. I can feel him. Can you feel him? Not another word. We have to be totally silent. Actually, this reminds me of the time we were hunting tigers in the Punjab. Beastly business, the flies, the heat. Lost three good men that day. But then we found them again having tea in a cafe. Beastly tea. You are sure this is included in the package? <laughs> oh, it is a great honor to do your portrait. And may I say you have a remarkable nose. Oh. <laughs> Here is my fave coconut tree. Nice. And over here... Bottle. There's 
a message in it. What, what? Who's going to read it? Sorry, I can't make it. Sincerely, the king. P.S. If a Bob Johnson shows up claiming to be king, get rid of him. Accept no substitutions. <gasps> Give me that, you frog. It's fraud. There's that, too. Well, I can't thank you enough. You folks have uh, been just great. I'm definitely recommending this place to my whole sales force. Next time, I'll plan to stay longer. Maybe uh, finish that tour or bag that wombat. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, save some bat's milk for me. <laughs> well... I think we've all learned a powerful lesson here today. Absolutely. Hit the nail on the head, sweetie. Family and friends mean more than royalty. No, Wendell. If a king shows up, check his ID. No, Alfred. Always have some beef fat on hand. And no, Marjorie. I was thinking more along the lines of, I may be from New York and I may be new to this island, but there are times when I do know what I'm talking about, and you guys should listen to me. Oh. No, no, I think not. Like a spark can be caught, it's paradise. Search the world, look around, and your life can be found, it's paradise. Paradise is what you make it. When you find it, leave it, take it. Paradise is all that life can be. Endless wisdom. Read as much as It's over, Alfred. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.